Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Delia Sukmawati. I would like to present my presentation. This is my presentation. Uh, we are talking about the, this is my title, the effect of yeast antagonism is like from the fermentation cocoa bean to brume cacao, Lampung, Indonesia on the growth of Aspergillus flavus, F55. We, we know about the cocoa production. Indonesia is most dominant one of the plantation is especially is one, the province in Indonesia, Lampung, island of Sumatra. Cocoa bean fermentation is very important step to improve the quality of cocoa beans. One of the important if using the microorganism. This microorganism, especially yeast, this can be improved the physical and chemical analysis so that the yeast uh, can affect it. The low ethanol content, sugar concentration is very light, uh, very high and low pH and limited oxygens. The, the, the effect of yeast, we will know about the, the most effective is avoid to alpha toxin contamination in cocoa beans. The yeast can inhibit it of the growth of aspergillus flavus. Among the many antagonist microorganisms, it is the now the most effective of the control agents that can inhibit the growth of aspergillus flavus is yeast. So the purpose of this research is uh, looking from uh, looking from yeast from fermented cocoa bean and the potential from antagonistic of aspergillus flavus for uh, producing aflatoxin. The research method yeast isolation. One is yeast isolation from cocoa beans fermentation, and then we do it the screening of yeast isolate. And we, we do the antagonistic activity of the yeast isolated from fermentation cocoa beans uh, against of our culture collection, Aspergillus flavus, UMG, Universitas Negeri Jakarta, culture collection, F55. And we're doing the morphological observation of yeast isolate. Result and discussions. In the study, we found the 98 yeast isolates from cocoa bean fermentation have been success successfully is isolated. Fermentation cocoa in the studies carried out by the conventional method defined the undertaking the process that is therefore from the 5 and 6 day. We know the cocoa bean is the one of the substrate of the yeast because what? Due to the this cocoa bean, the cocoa bean is the source of sugar, the source of nutrient for the yeast. And we're doing the screening growth of yeast in 37 uh, degree. And we found that uh, 81 iso can survive at, at 37 degree. The screening test carry out the ability to grow to internal blood to end condition. And for the result antagonistic, uh, we do uh, 40, uh, 80, 0, 50 persons and 85 persons can be inhibited. They, they, the yeast have, uh, they, the yeast have uh, ability to control the aspergillus flavus. That's because uh, yeast have ability to produce the some metabolite secunder of uh, the yeast. The yeast can inhibit rate and even uh, and they can uh, delay of the sporulation of the aspergillus flavus. For this test antagonistic activity, we found three potential yeast can inhibit it Aspergillus flavus in GCC 55. We do the morphological characterization and we, we found that C2 and C4 and C6 have good ability to produce the antagonistic of Aspergillus uh, flavus. 
and the morphological observation of yeast isolate, all of the these potential yeast have uh, surface mold texture butyrus colony is milky white and elevation is com complex cell safe oval similar and budding is monopolar the conclusion is in this study we found that 98 isolate can be isolated from the co fermented cocoa beans from lampo and this yeast has potential antagonistic to inhibited the dangerous aspergillus papus, they can produce aflatoxin. And among about, about that, the yeast can have uh, have the morphological colony is very differentiation one and each other. So this is the one of the base in our research in diversity of yeast from fermented cocoa beans. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.